it's day one and we're me and Sam and Emily are about to go off and do Conville. Maybe we'll go up to the Murder Glass or something like that and uh, to start it off. But it'd be the start of really good three days where we learn how to do Alpine shit. The Conville course is a fantastic opportunity for new alpinists to get taught by professional mountain guides. You start off by applying through Plassey Brennan and you end up being taught over a period of three days in the glaciers and the mountains around Chamonix. On our first day we took a train up to a glacier called the Mer de Glace with our mountain guide, a chap called Tim Neal, and we began to learn the skills we'd need to do mountain routes later on in the week. got down there we walked for 40 minutes uh, across the glacier which was which was awesome and then we uh, kind of settled down to practicing things like crevasse rescue um, ascending ropes and, and just moving on ice which was which was awesome There is definitely something special about walking through the Hollerad Ice Cave, which leads from the Aguille de Midi onto a ridge line and then down onto the glacier below. I mean, you see it in so many movies and you hear about it in so many stories that that walk feels like a rite of passage. It's really cool. onto a small ridge, a um, small snowy ridge to start with and then it became more rocky and so still in crampons um, we scrambled up to the top. It's the sort of ground that you might be comfortable soloing, which I'm sure you will be, but equally if you snap to hold you could go a really long way. That day the weather was beautiful. We could see for miles and miles across this expanse of snow and rock. It's an incredible place, it's surreal. Yeah, so as soon as before that goes tight, we get ready to go. Emily in. Afterwards, we uh, practiced crevasse rescue for quite a long time, which was really, really useful actually. And um, I think that we managed to get the most that we possibly could have out of the last day of Conville because we uh, we basically seconded two really cool routes. The first being uh, l'arête uh, Laurence, and the second being l'arête des Cosmiques, both of which were incredible. So it's 5.50 in the morning, I think, and we've uh, got up early so that we can get the first lift to um, try and lead uh, Cosmic Soret. The cars aren't starting. As you know, Peter's car isn't starting, mine started. How many times have you had to jump start your car, Peter? <laughs> it's the second day. It should be really, really good fun, uh, but it's quite early, and uh, hopefully we'll be driving down soon and um, uh, yeah, get, getting in the queue so that we can get up there as fast as we possibly can.
the scenery in the Vallée Blanche is incredible. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything is inundated with snow, but even so, over the last couple of weeks since Conville, temperatures had gone up and the snow had started to melt and crevasses were starting to form in the glacier. And I can tell you now that when you're walking across a weakened snow bridge, it's actually really scary because you constantly think that someone's just going to disappear into a hole in the snow. Do you want to maybe uh, walk backwards and stuff? Or... We were really psyched to get on La Rete de Cosmique because um, as a route, it's really suitable for people who are just starting out in the Alps. So Faye and I have done like the majority of the um, uh, Arrête de Cosmique, which is which has been like really good so far. We've had no problems. We've been pretty efficient, we've and been we're super we're, efficient. We've done very well. We're very happy, and uh, we just had like a pan of chocolate and some water. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna go over there now and um, tackle like the crux uh, pitch of climbing, which should which should be really really fun. We're really enjoying it. Yeah, we're so excited. The view <laughs> is actually crazy. It's really really good. <laughs> Man, that was probably the most everything I've ever done. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Oh my god, the room is firm! <laughs> hey, so I'm Ben. I just want to see what you said. We just climbed the Cosmic Sarret. It was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, um, it was very busy. It's a beautiful day. Um, and, but we had a really, really good time. It was yeah. awesome. The rock felt great. Yeah, it was the rock such flowed, a man. The rock it, flowed, flowed like an ocean. It actually like did because uh, it was so hot it that like it did flow. like I was flow. in sync with the, uh, the mountain at some point. Yeah, me and Sam were in sync today. We're a good climbing pair. It was awesome. Yeah. We were really efficient. We even got to take a pan au chocolat break. Yeah, and yeah. take some photos and selfies. We El bossed it. El. We were El efficient. <laughs> smashed it up the uh, up the crux. It was pretty sick. One of the last things we wanted to do before leaving the Alps was climb above 4,000 meters and the best opportunity which presented itself to us was to actually drive to Italy and climb Gran Paradiso, uh, whose summit sits at 4,061 meters. So this morning we got up, we drove through Chamonix, drove through the Mont Blanc tunnel and into Italy, which is where we are now, and then we drove up through the valleys uh, towards the Le Pont, which is the base for the refuge uh, Vittorio Emanuel II. And then after that, we're going to stay there tomorrow night and go up the Grand Paradiso. We've uh, started walking to the refuge um, up towards Grand Paradiso, and uh, we've, we've gone along a beautiful valley with a river, and now we're heading up the sides of the mountain on some uh, on some switchbacks and some really beautiful scenery um, and uh, hopefully within uh, an hour and 45 minutes we'll um, we'll get to the refuge and then we'll be able to sit down have some supper and then get an early night before we uh, before we leave the next day probably around four in the morning Hi, so uh, we've just walked up from, uh, what is it called, Il Port or something like that, Le Port, um, and now we've arrived at this beautiful refuge behind us and uh, about to climb up Grand Paradiso tomorrow, so we're probably going to get an early night, um, 
I'm gonna go for a little swim now in this beautiful lake. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty good. We're all feeling pretty good at the moment. We can see the start of our route, which isn't glaciated, it's just a simple walk. Uh, we can't see the summit of Grand Paradiso, uh, but that'll hopefully emerge tomorrow, um, uh, early in the morning, providing there's a bit of light. I mean, at the moment there are clouds coming in, uh, and hopefully that's just a symptom of the late afternoon and not any kind of impending rain. Um, but we're feeling we're feeling pretty good at the moment. Actually, we're feeling pretty excited. So tomorrow should be should be pretty fantastic. Yeah, we're all we're all really psyched. Good morning. It is um, it's three forty, and we all got up uh, kind of half an hour ago. So we're getting ready. Um, and we're, we're all pretty excited, like we're all, it's actually, we're not tired, we all slept really well. Um, and we can, we can actually see people going up our route over there, and so it should be pretty easy to find. Um, so yeah, we, we're on track to leave at 4 o'clock, which is going to be absolutely amazing, so we'll hopefully get nice crisp snow on the glacier, and be able to absolutely yeah. power it up Grand Paradiso, uh, get to the summit and then get down as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, having a good time, it's going well. So we, um, we got up at three, set off walking at four, and um, it was amazing going up the, uh, the valley you know, with the head torches on, seeing the head torches in front of us, like way up the valley, just absolutely beautiful. And then uh, we're sitting here as the sun rises and uh, putting the mountains in this beautiful red light, yeah, it's pretty amazing. We are absolutely smashing it up the mountain. It's 717 um, and we reckon we're over halfway now. And the views are beautiful. It's really stunning up here. We're about 10 minutes from the summit just over there. But in the meantime, we all have to get over a Bergschrund. Oh after five hours of walking over snow bridges and scrambling next to really big drops uh, we got to the summits at 4,061 meters. So we're at the summit of Grand Paradiso, our first 4,000 meter piece. And it's, and been it's amazing! It's been epic. It's awesome. 